I don't know if it should be showing you. I'll give you a little bit of a teaser and then I'll talk you through it and then you get the big reveal at the end. So that's your teaser there. Do you know who it is? This, my friends, is Grant Cardone, Mr. 10X himself. He was star of Undercover Billionaire. He is a super duper, uber successful businessman, coach, entrepreneur. He is a legend, absolute legend. Definitely worth the paint. And I'm so glad I got it finished because the finished result, as you'll see at the end, stay tuned, is absolutely epic. So here's how I did it. We start with a bit of MDF board. The 18 mil thick one, I like to have it a bit thicker because then that means that there's a bit of rigidity in it so it doesn't like completely flop all over the place. I then paint it white. With my particular style, I tend to want to paint it roughly white so I purposely lash on the paint. I want those textures, I want that rippleness. When we've got the white board, then we need to lay on our doodle grids. It allows me to get things in the right place, where the ear should be, where the eye should be, where the nose should be. As soon as I get that, then the rest I can sort of work on. Then I superimpose a picture on that, so I have Grant's basic face then. I use Posca pen, like so, so that's just acrylic paint in a pen. So it's if you don't really want to use a paintbrush and you want to use like something which you're used to in your hand. We do the outline of Grant, we get his basic features in and then this is where the fun bit happens. I need to create skin tones then, I need to create the lights and darks and see what in the picture I can block out. At this point it always looks its worst when you're watching the progress of my like short stories or my Instagram reels or whatever, you'll always see at this point the picture looks dire. I've just basically got bulky skin tones because the spray from this is probably about that thick, even on a super skinny nozzle which I use. So that's like the lime green one, level one I think it's called. It still creates as thin a line as that. So you can't really go as thin lines as this. So the next bit, which is absolutely class fun, is bringing back the detail. So it's at this point, you're sitting with your iPad, you're looking at the piece and you get your acrylic pen out again. I have my skin tones laid down. I then bring back the details so that you can see his features over this. Now at this point is a very, very good time to check your proportions because you need to be getting definitely at this stage, earlier stage when you're laying a basic outline, the proportions aren't so crucial because you're gonna be adding and taking away loads of paint after that. So at this point, I wanna make sure my proportions are exact with the face, with a portrait of any type, it's so unforgiving. If you put one line out of place, like if I pull my nose slightly over there, so it would be a line over there, it's not gonna look like me. So we need to get the lines exact at this point. Lay back the detail, put the detail on, bringing it back, using an acrylic pen on top of the spray paint. Obviously let the spray paint dry, got to say that. It'll look very blown out with color. It'll literally be quite bright. It'll have just a, a thin line detail. This is where I need to come in and then start creating the darks and stuff. So I use, haven't I got, that's, well, that's the white that I would use, kind of gold. Transparent paint is very good for dulling down everything. So at this stage, I would probably try to dull everything down. So I would use a transparent black and a transparent white. This is the point which takes forever, but this is the point which is 100% crucial. The je ne sais quoi, bringing that extra bit of detail on top of that toner. So once again, I'll be using my Posca pens. It'll be the white and the black. I only use two colors and I use blending with my finger. What I'll do then is just literally have the photo, the reference picture, and I'll go from reference picture to this. I'll work on each area. Area, I'll make sure to get the eye right. I'll make sure to get the nose and mouth right. And then I'll literally just be rubbing at each area. Grant, he had a beard, which was good because he had a couple of grays hair, hair through it. So it was able to create like sort of depth and texture there. Obviously in the light, I should probably catch him with myself. Um, you can see gray hairs quite easily because they catch the light. So that's always good in a painting because it adds that little bit more detail. At that point, you'll be left with a very sort of nearly finished piece, but for me, I always like to finish with one more go at the toner and one more go at the detail. So with the toner, the transparent paint, I'll bring that back. I'll cover that piece in like a light coat. I'll try to smooth some of these lines because sometimes these lines can look really harsh. The transparent paint, it sort of smooths it all out. And that, my friends, I think is it. At that point, I get my big pink pen and I sign my cool big pink signature tag at the bottom, which you should be recognizing by now. Oh, these, did it mention these t-shirts? So that 
is a Kirk Cobain special. You can get them on my website, as you can with prints of all these pieces, which you should have definitely checked out by now, www.jossypops.com, and I ship worldwide, so everything is available for you. I've got cheaper pieces, I've got expensive originals, but there's something for everyone, and it is all street art for your home, and it's high-end, absolute class, Bits of work. Let's have a look at Grand Cardone, the finished piece. Okay, folks, I've only gone and just done it again. I've created another epic, massive, huge, brilliant, cool, class, outstanding bit of artwork. Check this out. Okay, guys, here we go. The big reveal. Grant Cardone looking absolutely epic. Check out the size of this piece. So we will start with the most important thing right down here. The Jossie Pops big pink signature. We have got a sort of glossier black around it, which is good. It's sort of catching the light. I've literally just blocked out the areas, created the skin tone, built up the detail, bring the transparent toner down. You'll see that around the neck. So when you zoom in close to this, you'll, oh, it's just, it's special. And then basically went through his beard, the white highlights, some white highlights in the hair, and then his eyes. I am so chuffed with how it worked out. If you like that video, obviously everyone says it, but it is so true, it helps the algorithm, it helps people see my work. I would really appreciate that thumbs up. Drop a comment, I will answer. Um, I'm a small channel as it is, so I'm 100% wanting to answer your questions. So if you have anything, ask them below. Subscribe, because there'll be other videos. In this room itself, there is about 20 faces looking at me. There is loads of videos of how I create these pieces. You can also create these pieces. This is not beyond anyone's level. You need to try, you need to keep practicing, and then you will soon be creating masterpieces like this. I really appreciate you watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.